I'm talking yo. about. Like, y'all yield the mic. Hey, yo, listen, That's here go the point. thing, right? The raid is one thing, right? But y'all missing the whole play. Who gave them what they needed for the raid? That's the play. They just get started. The raid is just to add to the list of the rat informant motherfuckers that they already used to get to the raid. Facts. That's it. We come in, we catch this nigga with this, catch this nigga with that. We get this nigga right here in the back room, press play, let him hear this was said and this was said. And we all they trying to do is turn motherfuckers. Now you got to remember, bro, pay attention. What they put in front of you ain't really what they really, that's what they want you to see. We got something going down in Atlanta. And it came up, scooped up 28. Now, if you do the math, one click tied to another click. That click home base is where? Atlanta. Let's go back up to Chicago. Now we raiding, hitting these blocks. We snatch the right motherfucker off these blocks and give us the right information. We tie into what we got out of Atlanta. Now we take down another big movement. Y'all better pay attention. You yeah. niggas is thinking about some they block trying to shit. Catch dirt. I hear you yeah, on. these niggas is trying to take yeah. down a whole movement. Like, this is what it is. This is why when Wax say what he say, nigga, when I leave California, it's all business. Because I know when the wave come, it's coming, nigga. But you think about it, too. Them Chicago niggas tied in with the New York niggas. They got hit first. Well, I mean, you got to remember, ain't nothing really, ain't not, unless they got a, some shit, some little shit going on. New York and L.A. ain't where all the shit is at right now. New York is doing New York and L.A. is doing L.A. No, I said Chicago and in in, in New York. No, you missing the point. Chicago, Atlanta, Memphis, Florida, that's the wave right now. L.A. and New York is just on L.A. and New York right now. We just pretty much... You know, you got to remember, our big rappers is they on the beach. You don't see Kendrick don't go to clubs. You know what I'm saying? You don't see the Roddy. Gang come out when he want to come out. He an old head right now. Like, we ain't out here creating movements like that. To where, oh, nigga, this is the real triple D squad. Nigga, we, we up. We not doing that no more. It's they going at that shit because those are the situations that's bringing the situations. Look, the last time you heard about a, a a a real beef coming off this coast, G Unit. That's a fact. Think about it. All the real beefs is coming from where? What sections? When it come from these type of movements, yeah. Midwest down to the south. That's where it's, that's where it's moving at. And right now, these niggas. It's telling. They've been getting caught up. They've been getting pulled over and arrested at 2 o'clock in the morning. Niggas show up at your, at your crib at 2 o'clock in the evening. You don't know he got a new job. And there it go. Nigga, this is why you cannot. Any old head that can survive, you never... Look, we got access to a 1,000 niggas, but you don't see them around us every day. That's out. Somebody going to get mad about what you gave the next nigga. Somebody gonna get mad about what the next nigga put it up. And he might have really went and hustled that, but he think you did it for him. Why you didn't like all oh, this shit get to happening? Somebody gonna get mad about the bitch they just made the strip club was this other nigga's bitch six months ago. These niggas get mad and these niggas get vindictive and these niggas start telling. Niggas say what you want. The police ain't in the studios, the police ain't on the block. The only way the police know what they know, cause the niggas on the block is telling. That's it. Hey, they had they had to know they was gonna move in now on old block shit. They just got some of the niggas for the Rico for the duck shit. So I mean, motherfuckers knew that was coming soon, though. Yeah, That's or I mean, you know, but they don't know because it ain't no training over there. See, my generation, we watched we watched this shit. We was educated. Yo, what happened? Yo, this just just happened. This just just happened. So it's kind of like when we went to jail and got out. That little generation up under us, them niggas is maybe like thirty five. The 40, they might know. Under that, these niggas is oblivious to anything. They don't respect what the old niggas telling them. Oh, them niggas are old niggas. Them niggas ain't up. They ain't lit. They scared. 
Sorry. That's it. That's all it. Oh, them niggas scared of me. I don't want to hear them niggas talk. That's it. They'll listen to you. Make the fuck away from that old ass nigga. Nigga know what he's talking about, nigga. We out. Old scary ass nigga. And we trying to tell a nigga, hey, look, nigga. Y'all niggas need to slow down. Oh, them niggas just hate. Straight up, my nigga. And that's the reason Chicago is like it is right now. That's what I'm saying. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm 34. These niggas don't listen to me. Yo, y'all sound them. like Kiddo. Kiddo will not listen to none of them old heads. What? Hell, he won't. Hell no. That is. Yes, that's how these shorties is. They ain't oh. trying to hear shit you got to say. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. They click bang. They click Nigga, they don't listen to me. They don't listen to me. He listen to me all day long. I calm his little ass. Kid nephew. I love Kiddo. Slow down. Relax. You know what I'm saying? Because he he's out here with me. He didn't been out here with me. He see what niggas is doing. And he respect you. You know, the old heads out there, you That's know, outside broke. of cats like JoJo Capone, ain't really gave them niggas a reason to respect them, bro. And that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Them niggas have found their own way. They found a way to get their own money. They like, oh, nigga, now you want to come tell me how to regulate mine? Nigga, get the fuck away from me. Nigga, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And they going to move like that. I got a question. So if you live in the hood, you got to do street activity, even if you ain't like that. No. You ain't like that. No, no. But no, you out no. there. No, I'm just asking because no, I, I don't know. The hood, and they got forced into this shit. Like, they was like, nigga, we going to straight fuck you up if you don't get you down. That's just it. You no, ain't got no. No, 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 no listen. It's, no, it's that's. Jungle. Now, see, that's what the, the movement my sign be on. What you saying right now, that's the movement my sign be on. Is yo. We got to stop making it to where these kids is getting terrorized out here and you forcing them to be in some shit that they don't want to be in, don't need to be in. That's the movement he on, to stop that. I support that move. That's a great movement that he does. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a little different oh, from yeah. these niggas. I don't, I don't hate on these niggas. If a nigga doing something right, that's cool. If a nigga might be doing something I don't agree with, that's just something I don't agree with. But, you know, out of 10 things, I'm going to agree with something the nigga doing. If I don't, I'm just a straight hater. No, so, nah, nah. You shouldn't have to. I know in my era, we wasn't going for it. You know, Kendrick Lamar is a product of that. That nigga grew up in Westside Paru, the biggest Paru set, the original Paru set of Paru. You hear it every now and then in his, in his, in his words, in his raps. They're like, little nigga, get up off this block. Nah, you ain't doing that. Get your ass in the house. Going to school. Yeah, you ain't been for that. that little nigga. Real shit. So, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to force our children into this fucking life when they don't want to be because they forced to live over there because that's where their mama and grandmama could afford to live. That's why all these people be chilling. A lot yeah, of them right. athletes that come out the hood, you have a lot of OGs supporting them and stuff. If they see they good in basketball or football, them OGs gonna put money behind them, you know, and help them get on up out the hood. Hey, it's a lot of niggas in my family, man. I whacked on this story like shit. The generation before me, they all they did was bang, nigga. I was that nigga. I was a Kendrick Lamar. Nah, nigga, you going to the military? Nah, you doing this? Nah, nigga, hey, nah, nigga, hey, tell him to pull his pants up, nigga. They. Nigga, it was like if you have any problems, call us. But you, nigga, you saying in school, you not gonna be like us, like so, nigga. That's the way you supposed to do that shit. Yeah, them true saying? leaders, you gotta see what everybody is good for, and you know what I'm saying. Mold that talent to them. Like everybody ain't a soldier, and everybody ain't gonna be the doctor, or the lawyer. You know. You right. So, you know, right now it's like right now this little old block shit. When they come like that and they want you to see it, that's because they're already ready. They just they just putting, they filling in the blanks, bro. This shit finna get ugly. That's what I said earlier. That's why I was telling yeah. motherfuckers early. No bullshit. <laughs> they, they filling in the blanks. They not going to show their hand. Like when they put that list out of gangs in, in Atlanta that they targeting, nigga, yeah, if you see your set on there and you know you doing something, yeah, we coming for you, nigga. Yeah, you. Yup, we know. Mm -hmm. Why they let these niggas get so much money all through the year, though? That's my whole thing. These niggas been balling since 2016. Like, a lot of these niggas' careers have blowed up, and they, they, they making a good ass couple thousands coming in. I think that's evidence, bro, for them to be able to, you know what I mean, when they, when they get in them courtrooms, they got the evidence, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, y'all niggas ain't going nowhere. But see, the money, listen, 
the money and the object, they know where the money coming from. Yep. One thing about it is they know that their money is legitimate. Where, where, where the youngsters go wrong is when, when they want to keep it too real. Like my homies know, nigga, do not come asking me nothing to do that I don't do. Straight up. Don't come ask me, yo, look, whack, nigga, we can get 100000 Nigga, we got a distro. Hey, nigga, get the fuck away from me. And when they, the youngsters start keeping it real or feeling like they got to keep it real, you know what they do? They start participating in these acts. You know what happens? Niggas tell on them that they participating in these acts. You know what happens then? The 10 million you made clean, now it's a target and we freezing. Because if one dollar that came from these acts because you keeping it way too real, we freezing everything. Now you back to the basics. It's how you think the government? How you think the government fund this shit? <laughs> off seized money. <laughs> a lot of this hey. shit is funded off seized money, bro. Nigga, they use the drug money they find, nigga, to pay for this shit. Fuck you think they pay their informants? They, they print the money out. That's how I know government got something to do. They print out this money. They know where the fuck they money going. They know what's going, how much they print out for a reason. That shit. That's why I say I ain't got this is bro. The law is that's See, bro, what we got to stop doing is making excuses up for breaking the law and getting caught. That's a fact. These niggas. This shit cat mouse, bro. We trying to get away. They try to catch a nigga, bro. We get caught. Oh, the government put the guns there. They ain't tell you to go rob a nigga with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know some niggas that have really brought a firearm from the street, and I see them. And they still got to say, you know what? They brought the firearm to protect their home. Ain't nobody can in their home. There it they is. had a reason to use it. There it is. So, you know, if you chose to go that route and you get caught, bro, that's what that is.